Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how simple, efficient and effective it is to schedule recurring status update requests and to show how simple and engaging that format is for the end user. Now by automating this process, you're no longer having to spend your time sending out update requests. And we know that if the process is easy for the recipient, you're way more likely to get the updates delivered on time. And then no more sending out all the PowerPoint slides or cutting and pasting the input that's provided into emails. The updates go straight into the target content and are available immediately for all users. So let's have a look. So going to Smartsheet, if I go to the notifications section, you can see that I've received an update request for Project Zap and it says click. So if I click on this, you can see it's going in and from within Smartsheet, I can go in and I've got a request to update the online sheet. So I can either fill it out directly in here and put in the various information, or let's see what it looks like for someone who's going to receive this not into Smartsheet, but actually directly via email. And again, these can be sent to people who do not even need access to your Smartsheet to be providing the updates. So in this example, I've sent it via email, and here this is in my email account, and they receive an email that looks like this. So Demo Productive, please update my online sheet. If I click on the form, then it's going to open up the form directly and give them this interface to be able to update it. So it shows what the previous status was. And now we're going to say, well, it's green. Um, the previous status was amber and updated today. So I'm going to put in today's date and updated progress, some of recent achievements. So back on track. Um, all good. Escalations and ne next steps. So um, key stakeholder meeting next week to sign off. Key risks or issues. So I'm going to take this one budget risk. I'm just going to take one out and then I can either attach items, I can add comments if needed, or I can just submit the update. So that has gone and that's the end user experience. So they've received a very simple email and a very simple interface to put that information in. So if I just go back into the view, now in terms of the summary status updates, we can see is actually this information has already been updated into that sheet. So that was provided. You can see that it's been updated on this date, back on track or good, key stakeholder sign off and those items and those are literally you saw I sent the email and that's gone straight into here. So this has gone into the status update. And if we go to the portfolio status dashboard, you can see the previous information is here. If I just refresh the dashboard, and then that information is gonna come through momentarily as well. So let's just update it and zap, back on track, all good. Um, so all that information has come through. That's how simple and easy it is. So how does this work? Well, in this case, the way I do my projects is I create a separate sheet for summary updates and then you create these requests here so update request and I'm right clicking and what you do is you do send update request and in this case you can send an update request so in this case I'm going to say to a demo productive so the person please update my online sheet and here what you can do is you can then put all the information that you want in in this case so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to the person, I want to provide the, the red, amber, green. When was it updated? What was the previous one? Summary, this information. So I click OK. Now, if you want them to be able to put attachments or add additional comments there, you can do that. So if I'm going to leave it off in this case. And then you can also copy it in so you receive this and you can change the title of that, please. So weekly status um, update request project zap so you can change whatever you want it to be to make sure you get the attention and um, um, then you can change please update my online sheet or whatever engaging comments you want to put up front um, so many thanks on that side now we've changed that bit now delivery this is how you can set it to go either daily weekly monthly yearly on that side so on this case it's a weekly update and you're going to get it to repeat every Friday on this case, repeat every one week and starts today and ends 
you don't put a time um, a date where you want to finish and what time of day do you want that to go so if it's on a Friday send it at lunchtime so you get it and obviously it wants it to be in the future so I need to say I'm going to send it from Friday onwards and if I click OK that will then be if I press send this will be future scheduled now if I click on this link here you can see all the items that are already ready to go on this side you can see that one was already preset on that side so last sent this is the one I've just created so I'm going to delete it but this request will now go out on a regular basis so these are the items that are waiting to go and these are the ones which have already been sent or are pending on that side so really really simple to do um, to set up those the requests again you can do you can set up um, requests through automations as well so create workflow again you can send a request an update so those are just some ways of doing your regular updates and this is remarkably easy and the again the interface that people use is so simple that you're really increasing your chance of getting an update so trust that's been useful and keep watching for other tips on how to use Smartsheet and get the most out of this amazing tool. Many thanks.